All right, so with all the rain we've been getting, the grass and weeds have shot up in here, but it's also allowed the grapes to leaf out and become flexible. So now we can run the wire up and trellis them. I have put six step-in posts. They're not very step-in in my opinion, but that's what they're called. T-posts in the ground, six of them, and I'm going to run the wire to trellis them along that. There's going to be two strands on each one. We don't have all the wire we need right now, so I can only do that side. So that's what I'll do, and I'll weed that whole half of it and trellis them up. Just to give you an idea of what to do. Okay, so what I'm doing to trellis this up is just taking some of this high tensile fencing wire. And it's bent and twisted, so I can't get the lines perfectly tight. Um, but that's okay, unless we're having really heavy grapes, which I don't think we will. This, sh this should be tight enough. So at the end of the row, I bent it with my handy lineman's pliers. Bent it straight up at a close to 90 degree angle. I'm going to come up 18 inches, wrap it around again, and start my way back. And then I doubt I'll have enough slack, but if I get lucky, I'll wrap it around 18 inches and come back the other way again. So that's what we're going to do, and I'll try and videotape some of that. Okay, so as you can see, I had a little bit of trouble winding this middle post. There was a kink in the wire, so I had to thread that out. But it went pretty well. What I do is I pull them tight, grab them with the lineman's pliers, twist it around to pull this extra tight, and then move on. I'm going to have to retension this one because pulling all the slack from that end loosened this one. So I'm going to pull the bottom row back out that way. And. We didn't have quite as much wire as I thought we did. So we only got one and three quarters of a row, or one and two thirds. So we're going to have to buy some more wire. We might have one more spool, but if so, it'll be going down there. And then, if I'm lucky, we'll have some cutoff that I can just use to get in between this one to that post. And then, of course, in the future, we're going to have to take them a third step up. But that won't be for another, I don't know, year and a half. Anyway, now I've got to go see if we have some more wire. Okay, so I went back up to the supply shed, if you will, and yay, found some more wire, whole spool of it. So I'm going to come out here, pull this as tight as I can, and hopefully on that other side that is not yet trellised, hopefully I'm going to be able to get that all the way around using this, the both the two rows, instead of cutting off halfway like I did on that one. And if there's a little bit left over, I'll try and patch up that last section, and the trellising will be good to go. So, that comes after I retighten this bottom row here. Alright, so here's how I keep the wire tension on the end. I just bring it through a hole drilled in the 4x4, wrap it around the screw, and pull it nice and tight with the pliers. And that holds it tight so that I can take it the rest of the way down. And I'm going to attempt to show you... How I do that is a little difficult with one hand, but once I get it unspooled, I'll just lay it out and then go and do each one and show you. All right, you'll have to forgive the camera view, but I'm gonna try and show you how I do this. I have the wire poles, the spools in my hand. I pull it tight, then I grab with the lineman's pliers and bend it around the T-post, and that gets all the slack out of it. And then I just keep twisting. Then I can let go with these and bend it the rest of the way around and we're good to keep going down the road just like I've that. I've got all the wire up that we have. Now it's time to prune up the grapes and then we'll go ahead and start getting rid of all this undergrowth. So the grapes have a lot of the dead branches from previous years. I'll show you. Underneath that are a lot stiffer and easier broken and less flexible. Sorry about the dog. So we're going to have to prune those up and we'll probably cut half of them off so that the grapes take the, on the form of two rows coming out along the uh, trellising here. 
So that is what we will do also about the condition of the grapes. Some of them have this ground layering effect going on where the branches, uh, this branch, had come down into the dirt and taken root in the dirt. So this is a whole new plant now. So I broke it off from the main branch and we're gonna make a separate grapevine out of that. Okay, so I have for you a really good example of uh, ground layering here. Pull this back. This is a mature grapevine and all of these roots are attached to it as well as a whole nother thick, thick strand going in the opposite direction. So I could cut this and make it its own plant uh, and I'll do that this fall. We don't want to do that during the production season. But this fall, I'll cover it back up. This fall, we'll do that. So what I'll come do now is get some wire, make a stake, and stake that down to the ground in a little bit, like that, right where it is, right there. And then this fall, it'll be ready to cut and become its own plant, which we can then transplant or sell or leave right where it is. Well, you know what I always say, there's no sign of self-sufficiency like someone who turns their lawn scraps into chicken food. Actually, I don't think I've said that before. Okay, so we're going to start with this plant. Where the plant comes out of the ground, it branches off in two directions. So we've got to untangle these from the weeds and thorns that are in the ground already. that and I'm stripping some of the leaves off when I do this but I'm not really worried about that right now because this plant is not the strongest one anyway okay we've got all of this branch up so to prune it any branches that are dead will only have say one sprig of life on them I'm not gonna bother keeping Okay. Now we can grab this, take this one under, bring it up, and you just got to sort of bend it around. You have to force it in the beginning because it's used to laying on the ground, not going up a wire. Do the same thing with this one. Alright, that's good for that side. You have to kind of force them in the beginning because they don't naturally want to bend some way that they haven't been growing. So I'll bring you around. Kind of up close of what I do. It's just difficult to do one-handed. All right, let's see. We're gonna train this branch now. Okay. So we can get rid of that little leaf bud. Uh, we can trim that one down. Get rid of that dead branch. Out here, we don't really need to get rid of any of that. We can shorten this one a little bit. Okay, so now it's thinned out. We still have plenty of leaves on it, but it's not just an overgrown mass. Also, if there's a bunch of leaves, like this one is all a bunch of leaves with no grapes on it, we can shorten it up a little bit. Take the right part off, okay? Okay, so we're gonna try and bring this one up, but it's not tall enough, so we're gonna have to go across with it. 
bring it start by bringing it under you want to try and get the splits in the branches to line up pushing against the wire so there's a lot of weeds in the way but I'm going to try and show you what I'm doing so the split in the branch lines up with the wire then we wrap this one around going out this way and this one going back the other way All right, that's held in place, so that's basically how I do it. I was not aware what I was sitting in. It is a good thing I am used to fire ant stings, or I would be in a lot of pain right now. So I found this grape cutting that had a very nice root system on it. So I'm going to put it in this pot that I was growing yellow clover in. Uh, but now I'm going to grow a grape plant in it, because that's more effective. All right, here's my little grape plant in the ground. Hopefully it takes... I thought it was a free plant if we can get it growing. Now usually what happens is these leaves will die off and then from that same shoot a new stalk will grow. But sometimes when you get a really good root system these will just die and then come back. So I'm not going to take them off just in case that's what happens. Okay, so I have now pruned and trained these two grape vines and got rid of all the grass on this end that grapevine that I ground layered and planted in the bucket is going to go here if it takes if not I'll probably just make a cutting from one of these because you can see where we cut this into three or divided it into three one two three plants here there's only two for the three sections so we have to put one here that's what I'm going to do if that one takes all right, it is done. I've got all the pruning, training, mulching, weeding, whatever else I missed done. Now I've just got to put the tools away. This branch I snapped, it's wilted, but that's all right. One branch is not going to make the difference of our grape harvest, I don't think. We still have plenty on here if half of these get ripe. So there you have it. Hope you liked it.